In this project, we'll show you how we made Joy. Joy is a 3D printed game controller who likes to play games and loves to teach people how to make projects with 3D printing and DIY electronics. 3D modeled in CAD software, Joy was engineered to be easy to assemble and take apart. All of the various parts and pieces are 3D printed in different colors and snap fit together. 3D printers such as the Ultimaker 3 are capable of dual extrusion which can 3D print two different colors together in one process. The printer's tool head switches between two different nozzles, depositing material layer by layer. And by printing on heated glass, the surface of the part appears very smooth with a glossy finish. All of the 3D files are free to download and modify so you can 3D print them yourself or have them delivered to you by using a service like 3dhubs.com. To put this project together, you'll need a few handy tools and supplies such as a soldering iron and some wire. A full list of electronics used in this project are linked in the tutorial. You can order the parts online or browse our list of distributors to find a local retailer. So be sure to check out the links in the description of this video. We designed a breakout for the buttons using Autodesk's EvilCAD. The PCB was made using a Bantam Tools desktop CNC milling machine. So go check out our separate video to see that whole process. The majority of the build is just making wires and soldering components together. And when I first built Joy, I referenced my circuit diagram quite a bit and just kept double checking my wiring. Each step has been documented and laid out into a learning guide. So if you're new to working with electronics and Arduino, the tutorial will walk you through the whole process. To give more interest to an otherwise repetitive looking assembly, I hope this supercut gives you a dense overview of the build process. The Arduino code was written by Philip Burgess. It's up on GitHub so anyone can go download it, fork it, or contribute. I hope you check out our written tutorial. I think you might find some helpful tips and maybe even pick up some parts from the shop if you're feeling extra generous. Once all of the components are wired up, the two have simply joined together in snap fit shut, which I gotta say is pretty satisfying. So if you're so inclined to build one for yourself, I suggest you go check it out. Links are in the description. I think what makes this project so different is the obvious facial features. And by hiding the display behind the facial cutouts, it appears almost seamless. The movement of the pupils combined with the random blinking of eyelids is just enough to convey expression and personification. We hope this project inspires you to explore your creativity and perhaps even bring joy to your project. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to ring that bell icon to join our notification squad.